Hi, I'm Dr. Jean Lee with Wyndham Allergy, and guess what? I'm a kid doctor, and one of my favorite things to do is help kids with food allergies. And today, I want to help teach you three important things about food allergies. Number one, what's a food allergy? Number two, what's going on inside your little body when you have food allergies? And number three, if you get sick from a food allergy, what can you do to help yourself feel better? Number one, when someone has a food allergy, it means their body doesn't like a certain type of food. In fact, you could get really, really sick from eating it. For example, let's pretend to eat this peanut. Very soon, you could start to feel a little itchy. And you could start coughing <coughs> and having a hard time breathing. Your throat could even feel very funny and it could be hard to swallow. Maybe you'll even get a tummy ache, and then you'll want to throw up. And that does not sound like fun. But you know what you can do to make food allergies less scary is to learn about what's going on inside your body when you have a food allergy with the help of science and toys. So, here is your immune system. It is made of a team of amazing soldiers that help fight germs or bad guys. This soldier's job is to fight off viruses or the germs that cause you to catch a cold and have a stuffy nose. This soldier's job is to fight off bacteria. So if you get a cut or a boo-boo, he's your guy. And this is my favorite soldier, the allergy soldier. Right. And guess what his job is to do? Fight worms. <laughs> worms. Worms. Where are you, worms? Well, wait a minute. You probably wear shoes when you go outside and have a nice clean home. So you probably don't have any worms in your body. So now your allergy soldier is bored. It has nothing to do. But wait, he's got an idea. He's gonna turn a good guy, like a peanut, into his bad guy. But you know, he could have decided just as easily that a cat could have been the bad guy. So the next thing he does is start to make signs to warn all his allergy buddies that the peanut is now the bad guy. So we have this warning soldier that comes in and says, aha, I know what to do the next time I see that bad peanut. And he sticks all these signs all over his body. So he comes on over. <gasps> There's the peanut. And that is a big warning to your body. Wake up, there's a bad guy inside. So you need to maybe cough out the bad guy or scratch the bad guy out of your skin or even better, throw up. And you just might. So what can you do to make yourself feel better if you get sick from a food allergy? Well, most importantly, you should use your medicine called epinephrine or epi. How does it work? It acts like a sweeper and it sweeps away the warning signs in seconds and then you can feel better fast. A lot of people ask me though, doesn't it hurt when you use your epi? And I go, nah, you can barely feel it. I know, because I accidentally used it on myself once. But that's a funny story for another day. Another question people ask me a lot is, why can't I just use Benadryl? And Benadryl acts more like a tissue and just covers up the warning signs. But guys, they're still there. They didn't go anywhere. And it takes a long time for Benadryl to work. So it's always better to use epinephrine if you get really sick from a food. So guys, I hope you learned a lot. It was my pleasure making you this video. If you like it, great. Please like it on the YouTube channel. 
If you want to learn more about food allergies, please visit www.windhamallergy.com. Thanks. Wait, I think the only thing missing from this video are some worms. I found some.